we're taking all the steps to do it right to make sure we're positioned to have a full portfolio of vehicles and win. And, and we have said that you know by mid-decade, we will be selling more EVs in this country than anyone else. Including Tesla. Including Tesla. That right there is GM CEO Mary Barra about a year ago saying that by 2025, they're going to be outselling everyone in EVs, including Tesla. She specifically said that they're going to be outselling everyone in the country and the interviewer was like, including Tesla? Because that sounds like a ridiculous answer. And she's like, yeah, including Tesla. Tesla. And one thing I find so frustrating nowadays is that CEOs and politicians and well, a lot of people in the media seem like they're just able to say whatever they want and they don't have to connect what they're saying at all to reality. Most of the time when you listen to CEOs like Mary Barra talk, they say a whole lot of stuff, but they're actually not saying anything. It's total fluff. But this time she actually says something of substance. But what frustrates me is that she is so clearly lying that it's not even funny. And if what she said right there doesn't immediately sound like a lie to you, let me explain why it is. If we look at this graph right here, this is showing US top five automotive groups, battery electric vehicle sales share Q2 of 2023. This is the most recent data that I could find. And you can see that Tesla is making up 59% of the sales, whereas GM is making up about 5.2%. And even in just looking at this graph, you can see that Ford is at 4.4, Mercedes is at 4.6, Volkswagen is at 4.8, and Hyundai is at 8.1. So all of these companies, while there are fluctuations, all of these companies are in similar situations with regards to their sales when compared to Tesla. But it doesn't stop there. Check out this next graph. This is US EV sales for the first six months of 2023, and it says that Tesla outsold its next 19 rivals combined by a wide margin. And if we look at that, we can see that Tesla sold in the US 325,000 BEVs and GM who owns Chevy came in second with 35,000 about BEV sales. But look at those numbers for a second. That's showing Tesla is selling about 10 times as many battery electric vehicles as second place Chevy. And this is the sort of thing that I'm saying. You have CEOs like Mary Barra come on and say stuff like this that is just so blatantly false, but they know what's going to happen is the interviewer isn't going to check them and the general public is going to think they're telling the truth because they're an authority figure, because the CEO of GM wouldn't lie like that. I mean, she's probably at least close to reality, right? When the fact of the matter is she is nowhere near any realm of reality. She is so far off the map that it's not even possible for what she's saying to become true. She knows that their plans are failing, and we're going to get into that in just a second. In GM's latest earnings report, she admitted that what they were saying is patently false. But before we get into it, I wanna take a second to thank today's sponsor, Fantic, and their new Apex X8 tire inflator. But before we get into it, I wanna take a second to thank today's sponsor, Fantic, and their new Apex X8 tire inflator. It doesn't matter what kind of car you drive, whether it's a Toyota or a Tesla, you're going to need to fill up the tires at some point, and the Apex X8 is the best and easiest way to do that. This portable battery-powered air compressor can fill up a car tire in less than a minute, and it fills to exactly the amount of pressure that you set with a precision of within one PSI. That means whatever you set your tires to inflate to, that's exactly what it's going to inflate to. And it doesn't just work with car tires, you can also do it with bike tires and motorcycle tires, and even basketballs or soccer balls or whatever other things you have to inflate. It has four preset modes, one for cars, one for motorcycles, one for bikes, and one for sports balls. All you have to do is just set the PSI that you want or pick a preset from their list, then hit okay, and you can go do something else. The Apex will stop as soon as it's reached the PSI that you set. The battery also lasts about 40 minutes, which means on a single charge, you can charge up over 40 car tires, which should be more than enough for anybody. And last but not least, it's got a flashlight built in if you're stuck on the side of the road and you need a little extra light. So if you wanna check them out, I'll leave a link in the description and they're offering viewers of this channel a discount. So look down in the description below for that coupon code. Thanks again to Fantic for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to Mary Barra. 
So here's what they just announced on their latest Q3 earnings call. They said this, GM abandons plans to build 400,000 EVs by mid 2024. And they also admitted this right here. But this week on GM's third quarter earnings call, Bar and GM struck a more sober tone. The company announced with its quarterly results that it's abandoning its targets to build 100,000 EVs in the second half of this year and another 400,000 by the first six months of 2024. GM doesn't know when it will be able to hit those targets. So let's pause for a second and listen to what was just said. GM is saying that they're not going to be able to build 100,000 EVs in the second half of 2023, and they're not going to hit their 400,000 target for the first six months of 2024. But at that same time, Barr is saying that they're going to pass Tesla by 2025. So they're passing Tesla by 2025. Now, according to the first six months of Tesla's EV sales in the US, they've sold 325,000 vehicles, which means if we were just going to do simple math, we could double that for the whole year for 2023. But realistically, actually Q4 is generally the best sales numbers for Tesla and for most automotive manufacturers. So really doubling it shouldn't be enough, but we're kind of sandbagging here. We're saying this is kind of worst case scenario for Tesla, best case scenario for GM. So that would put a yearly total of US EV sales at somewhere around 650,000 for Tesla. And now what GM is saying is they're not going to hit 100,000 for the second half of 2023 and they're not going to hit their 400,000 goal for the six months, the first six months of 2024. Yet at that same time, they are going to go, they are going to sell over 650,000 in 2025. Does that make any sense to anybody? No, there is just no way that that's going to happen. And we haven't even got to the worst part for General Motors, which is this. Right now, GM, in terms of the electric vehicle market, you have about nine, 10%. Tesla has about 63% of the market. Five years from now, if you succeed, what does that pie chart look like? Well, we have said, just like we're the leader today, if you set aside, you know, with the distortion that's happening with the semi shortage, we have been the leader in the United States. We've been number two in China for many years. Um, I think we're incredibly well positioned and we're not going to cede our leadership position to anyone. GM's claim to fame, their saving grace had be that they were going to release electric pickup trucks that would then dramatically increase their EV sales because Tesla, at least right now, currently isn't mass producing a pickup truck. The Cybertruck is coming, but we don't know exactly when it's going to hit mass production. So anyway, GM was trying to hit the market with electric pickup trucks, and that was going to be their huge increase in EV sales. But according to this latest earnings call right here, GM delays EV truck production at Michigan plant by year. General Motors said on Tuesday it will delay the production of its electric pickup truck at its Michigan plant, Orion Township, by a year as the number one U.S. automaker grapples with flattening demand for electric vehicles. Okay, first of all, Reuters, you shill, calling them the number number one US automotive maker, whatever. It also says the move is the latest sign that electric vehicle production and demand may not be as strong as forecast. GM had been set to begin production of the electric Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra late 2024 at the suburban Detroit plant. The company said the plan is now to start in late 2025. So let's get this straight for a second. GM is saying that they're going to pass Tesla in sales by 2025, yet their primary mover of EV sales which is their pickup truck lineups, which is the Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra, those aren't going to be coming now until late 2025. And if you think for a second that they can just immediately ramp up production into the hundreds of thousands that they need, that is not going to happen, I can guarantee it. And this is what drives me crazy, is it's the dichotomy between what the CEOs or the executives will tell the public versus what's actually going on. And they just don't have to admit to reality whatsoever. GM and Mary Barra is going to continue to say that GM is number one in EVs, and if it wasn't for those semiconductors, then they would be killing it in EVs right now, and they still are number one, and they're not going to see 
cede that position to anyone, especially not Tesla, while at the same time, they're delaying their plans to make more EVs. They're selling dramatically less EVs than they had originally forecasted. And yet we're still supposed to say, yeah, within about a year and a half, they're going to be beating Tesla in sales when right now Tesla sales are over 10 times what GMs are. None of that makes sense. None of that makes sense whatsoever. And you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be an automotive forecaster. You don't have to be anyone special. You can just be me to see the writing on the wall that guess what? GM is in some serious trouble and Tesla is absolutely eating their lunch. So anyway, I just wanted to do this quick update on what GM is actually doing. What they're doing is that they're delaying their plans to build more EVs in their factories and they're reducing their forecast for years to come for EVs. EV sales. Does that mean they're not going to continue to increase production eventually of EVs? No, they're probably going to do that. But what it does mean is that they are having some serious trouble with the mass production EVs because it's a really difficult thing. And that's why basically only Tesla is able to do it profitable. Although BYD, I'm looking at you too. All right. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe. If you love the video, consider supporting me on Patreon so I can continue to make videos like this in the future. All right. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.